right, so today we're going to take a special look at an expansion for Food Chain Island. Food Chain Island is a really fun solo game developed by Scott Alms and published by Button Shy Games. In Food Chain Islands, you're trying to take your 4x4 grid of animals and try to get down to one or two by animals consuming other animals. An animal can only uh, consume another animal if it is numerically less than the other animal or higher than the other animal. So, and there has to be no higher than the three difference. So this 10 can eat nine, eight, and seven. When the animal eats the other animal, its predatory ability will fire off. And it says this one here, uh, next turn, the predator must jump over an animal moving two spaces in a straight line to eat it. So that basically is going to be what you have to work around in Food Chain Island. You are going to make larger and larger stacks of these cards as you place one over top of another and eat it. In addition to that, you're going to have two animals that come with the base game. These two sea animals, sorry, specifically sea animals, are helpful cards in the base game that you can use to help give you an out and win the game. In the base game, you're going to get this shark, uh, and the shark here, move an animal one space, eat an adjacent animal of any lower value, so that'll help you out, and then the whale here, um, move one animal to any other space. So these are ways that can help you out in the game to win it when you get stuck. Well, here we come with Food Chain Friendly Waters. Now, Food Chain Friendly Waters is gonna come with a little instruction book here, and it's gonna come with three new sea animals to help you out. Now you're going to take this and you're going to shuffle these into your other two uh, sea animals and randomly pick, randomly draw two and those are going to be the sea animals that are going to help you for the game. So the dolphin here, uh, move an animal one space to eat, place the predator below the prey. So I do like that but I don't like placing a predator below the prey, that makes it a little bit more difficult. Uh, discard all unstacked animals and activate its ability. So that's really nice. I love the octopus for that. Uh, prevent the next predator ability from being activated. That is also super helpful, especially with some of the predator abilities that are pretty um, hard to deal with. And predator abilities have to be used unless you have something like this. So they can be pretty detrimental to your play. So that's it. You get three cards here for this. Uh, food Chain Island Friendly Waters. I can't get it in focus. Uh, that's a big amount of cards for something that's an only an 18 card game. So that is the expansion. I would highly recommend this expansion if you like Food Chain Island. It's always nice to have a couple more of the helpful cards and shuffle them up and have them at random so you're not, you don't uh, have, you, changes up the game enough too because it is a solar game solo game so if I have different helpful cards on there I can't hundred uh, percent you know figure out the game because I need to uh, pivot on which ones I have available for my outs in the game well that's my thoughts on food chain island friendly waters I would suggest picking it up if you like food chain island thank you for watching